still dark out, six o'clock in the morning, getting prepped for the ride, Sandy Hook ride. Gonna meet up with the guys at uh, one of the gas stations, I don't know, following John, I think 7-Eleven nearby. It's supposed to be really cold, not really cold, it's supposed to be 32, 33 today. Gonna test out my riding gear, my battery, uh, my battery operated riding gear that I've uh, reviewed a few days ago. Whole day is gonna be like a five, six hour day. Gonna tell you if it's sufficient, if it did its uh, thing, if it works properly, if it's good to take on the ride. So stay tuned. Gloves are on. Slightly bulky. It's like a skiing, it's like skiing gloves. I need to get out of here quietly so I don't wake up anybody. it out. Sandy, how's your gloves? Didn't try them out yet today. Now I'm going to start them on the way down to, to, to Sandy Hook. <laughs> <laughs> For now, they're just blocking the wind, so it's good. But uh, once we hit the road, I'm going to start that, them. Is that your just nice uh, show up. Nice turnout today, guys. A lot of nice bikes. Going to uh, head down to uh, Sandy Hook. Everybody's gearing up with the, the wires, the cables, the batteries, just to keep warm. Gonna head out now and try out the gloves. Let me start the vest now. You ready? Yeah, the gloves. I'll put it on. There we go. Let's go put 50 so we we don't use up the batteries completely, and we'll see how, how as we roll how how efficient or inefficient they are. Let's give it a ride. Okay, I'm ready to go. 50 and 50. Preparations with the gloves, with the heated stuff. So guys, I know most of you are impatient and want to know the result. It's now five hours, almost five hours since I left the house this morning and used the heated gloves and the vest. Battery operated. The vest is great. Kept me warm the whole time. Heated gloves are on the last third and uh, they kept me warmish, not warm. I think bottom line is the concern that the battery is gonna run out of juice during the ride. For five hours, this is way too long. I couldn't run them on full, full power. So I was somewhat uh, cold. And the whole time I'm thinking, do I have enough uh, battery left for the rest of the ride? So any, any ride longer than two hours, I recommend going 12 volt directly, directly uh, connected to the bike. Battery operated gloves, and that concern any glove, not only this specific glove, 
for good for very short rides. So that's it, back to the video. Sun is coming out really nice now. Hopefully it will warm up a little bit. I'm trying out my new uh, boots, they're leather. The vest is doing a great job. I, I put on medium. It's really nice and toasty.
So we stopped for uh, for a short camera setup uh, after about 35 minutes of riding. Well, my thoughts up to now is the vest is doing a great job keeping my core nice and warm. My hands, uh, my hands are cold. Truth be said, I put the camera, I mean, I put the uh, gloves on 45 because I'm thinking I have a five hour ride today and I want to preserve the battery. So I'm putting it on 45 thinking if I put it too hot now, uh, well, it will actually pretty much keep me warm. I uh, won't have enough power and juice for the ride back. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna uh, pop up the volume on the gloves, bring it up to 65, the max, no, not, I'll put it at 60, very close to max power. And if I get colder later on and I run out of battery, let it be. For now, at 45 uh, setting on the gloves, when it's uh, 34 degrees out, after 30 minutes, my hands are cold. Okay, short stop to get the cameras going. I'm gonna run it up to uh, 60. Okay, this guy's on 60. That's almost max power. This guy's on 60. Okay. There was a lot of black ice before.
it's kind of windy over here so you might be getting uh, picking up a lot of uh, noise from the wind but this is a uh, almost the northern tip of uh, Sandy Hook uh, we're looking westbound right now you see water and the wind is it's kind of windy so the there are swells and waves over here It is cold. My my toes my toes are cold. My fingers are okay. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I think these gloves uh, are good for uh, if you want to go for a short short hop around town or something something like that, where you're not not concerned about going for longer longer rides. Oh, and in that aspect, it's any any uh, battery-operated glove. It's not it's not only uh, not specifically these gloves, but any battery-operated any battery-operated gloves. When you need to think about extra batteries and whether to uh, put it on the max uh, max uh, temperature, that's not something you want to be concerned about. You want to be connected to, to the bike to 12 volt. But otherwise, uh, for every day, you know, short rides, one, two hours, they're perfectly fine. The vest I'm really happy with. It's keeping my core, my upper body nice and, uh, nice and warm. One thing I definitely need to look into is some kind of uh, electrically heated socks or insoles uh, to put on the bottom of my boots because my toes are freezing, are freezing. Sandy. Until the next video from Holy Shift. Peace out, guys.